Greetings, August 12th, 2015. We're getting a bit of reflection here, but I think uh, this will be okay. The uh, windows are right there. It is uh, August 12th, 2015. This is the uh, uh, cover of Section B of uh, Seattle and Washington State's late Jewish newspaper, which was called the Jewish Transcript uh, for decades, and then uh, I think the last 12 or so years it was in publication. It was called the JT News and later the JT News Voice of Jewish Washington. And then its last two or three issues, the Jewish Sound, it, and was shuttered by the uh, Jewish Federation of Seattle this past March, sadly. Um, and this uh, was accompanied by an article I wrote, authored uh, uh, on the cover, which I'm going to read to Kosin Synagogue Baroque Wall. So here we go. The artwork was also reproduced in a, a card published by American Friends of Yad Vashem. I forget it was uh, 2000 or 2001, something like that. By Akiva Segan, special to the transcript, the Shana Tova, which is like a greeting in Hebrew for Happy New Year. This artwork has a strong emotional bond for me for two reasons. First, Tokosin is very near Bialystok in northeast Poland. And for those of you who are raised in cities with good Jewish bakeries, you know a Bialy as the first cousin of the bagel. My grandpa Harry, who died in 1968 when I was 18, grew up in a tiny village outside of Bialystok. And while I don't think, and in parentheses, oh, how regrettably so, exclamation, end of parentheses, that I ever had a conversation with grandpa, I look back on him with great respect and nostalgia. The second reason is that I began the drawing in November 1994, and within a week I flew from SeaTac at Seattle's airport to West Palm Beach, Florida to help care for my dad as he went into his final two months of life. Knowing I'd be spending many long hours sitting in a hospital room, I brought the work with me and completed it there during that ordeal. The wall, which I drew from a photograph in a book I bought in Poland in 1984 called Polish Jews, Art and Culture, is a remarkable one. I'm going to interject my reading of the article with the, uh, this is the book, which is, uh, I bought, didn't have a, didn't, was unable to, I didn't uh, see an English language version, so I got this Polish one, Zidzi uh, Polsi, Jeje i Kultura, Interpress. There is the uh, synagogue wall. Back to the article. For it has this magnificent sculpted relief archway emanating up and out toward the ceiling. So I'm talking about all of this here, all through there, going all the way up like that. While in West Palm Beach, I found a rabbi nearby who kindly examined the photo I was working from. The Hebrew writing on the wall, center left and right, so that's there and there, contained memorial prayers for the departed. The town of Tokosin also appears in Polish Jews, the final chapter, written by my late Hillel rabbi, Earl Vinikor of blessed memory, who died at a very young age in the late 1970s. It was Earl and a classmate of mine, photography student Chuck Fishman, now a photographer in New York, who provided me with an interest in Poland and brought me, through their own travels, research, and writing, to examine the world of my own Jewish ancestry. A few years later, I myself traveled to Poland and had my life changed. People in the Seattle Jewish community telling me now that my life will change dramatically again as I leave on my first trip to Israel in early October. And interjecting here again, this is written and published uh, September 10th, 1999, and I left for uh, Vienna and Israel uh, uh, a few weeks later. Hang on, folks. I have been invited to speak and show my artwork at an international conference at Yad Vashem, the Holocaust Memorial Museum. The art museum at Yad Vashem may also be the future home of my watercolor ink and gouache work featured on the cover of this issue of the Jewish Transcript. That's what we're looking at here. Pending a review by the art committee of Yad Vashem's art museum, 
the Tokosin Synagogue Poland Baroque Wall with Memorial Prayers will hopefully be acquisitioned into the Yad Vashem Art Museum collection as a gift from Alexander Schwartz in memory of his dear beloved wife Trudy and their son. The Schwartz family are friends and library patrons of mine at the Magnolia branch of the Seattle Public Library. Refugees from the Vienna of the Nazi Party era. Trudy was sent to England in the late 1930s where she spent several years working in a private home in the countryside, unhappy but alive. Alex, through the luck of a draw, got out by the skin of his teeth. Eventually settling in Seattle, they owned a dry cleaners in Madison near Seattle University for many years and lost their only son to MS about 15 years ago. Following Trudy's death, Alex moved back to Vienna after 60 years to be with his only living relative, a nephew and a spouse with whom I'll be staying for a few days on my way to Israel. And then it continues, Akiva leaves for Vienna and Israel on October 3rd. I'm going to uh, just add a couple of postscripts. So I, I spent some days with Alex and his nephew and the nephew's wife and one of their sons uh, uh, before leaving for Israel uh, from Vienna. And uh, Alex's uh, donation uh, of the uh, original drawing was uh, accepted by the uh, Art Museum's uh, Acquisitions Committee. It is in the collection. So if anyone is uh, visiting Israel and goes to Jerusalem and to Yad Vashem, you can see this, but as is the case with most artworks in art museums worldwide, a fraction of, let's say, like 1 or 2% might be up on the walls at any given time. So if you want to see it, the original drawing, right well ahead of time and give them uh, dates, uh, a couple of suggested days when you could visit and so on. They uh, also own another work of mine, a drawing I did of Primo Levi which was a gift of the uh, Seattle's uh, lawson Sarkovsky family. And that can also be viewed at the same time, again, uh, by prior arrangement. Uh, Alex died a year or two later at age, I forget, 91 or 92. And uh, I have fond memories of both he and uh, Trudy. There are, uh, there's a, uh, a several artworks I did of Alex that based uh, on, on a uh, small linoleum block print based on a small sketch I did of him, uh, a, uh, and uh, two other drawings I did of Alex while visiting him in Vienna. There are videos up about these. I also saw a photograph while I was visiting of a first cousin of Alex's who was from uh, Czechoslovakia, murdered by the Nazis, named Kamal Han, and uh, viewers can view a, uh, a, a video I made of that artwork, which is part of the Under the Wings Holocaust art series. There you have it.